Let's go find us something to eat today. So y'all, it's been years since I've been to New China in Corinth, Mississippi, and a lot of y'all commented it under my post that I did last week and said that they done fell off. So I decided to pay them a visit today and we're gonna see. Let's go check it out. For the sake of transparency, y'all, I used to love it here as a kid. Growing up, whenever my mom would go to the Dollar Tree that's located right next door, as soon as she got done shopping, we would head over here and grab us some food. And unfortunately, it's just not the way that I remember it growing up. It's been years since I've been, but y'all, this place is definitely went downhill. Um, so just looking at the buffet, I was immediately disappointed because nothing really seemed to be as fresh as I felt that it should be. Now, this was peak lunch hours and it was busy, so I understand and it takes time to change all that food out but y'all it could have been a lot more fresher than what it was the teriyaki chicken tasted like rubber like i didn't know if i was eating a piece of teriyaki chicken or an overcooked piece of steak that's just how bad it was i was not a fan of the teriyaki chicken it took forever to chew and it's just not something i could see myself going back for seconds on teriyaki chicken was not good here now <clears throat> And really and truly, that goes for the majority of my meal. A lot of stuff was either, in my opinion, overcooked or didn't have much flavor to it or anything like that. There were a few highlight points that I did like, and a few of those points would be like the egg rolls were pretty good. I really enjoyed the egg rolls and also the um, chicken on a stick. And y'all, I know what it looks like. You know what it looks like, but the sign says it's chicken. We're going to call it chicken on a stick for the purposes of this review. The chicken on the stick was actually pretty good. Now, it did look dry at first, but when I bit into it, it actually was probably one of the few pieces of chicken that I had that was actually juicy. And yes, I did try their mac and cheese. Now, why did I do that? I don't know. It looked good, so I gave it a try. I also got some sushi and some hibachi um, from the hibachi bar. Now, the reason I got the hibachi from the hibachi bar is because the fried rice that was on the buffet looked absolutely horrible. I wasn't even willing to try it, so I went and had them make me my own um, stir fry fried rice. Now here goes another piece of chicken that I enjoy. I don't know what that yellowness is on it, but this chicken right here kind of reminded me of the Walmart Wingdings chicken. I enjoyed it. So then next up we have the Korean chicken and like the other bad chickens, it was not good as well. It was more of a sweet and spicy type mix, which if they had it cooked it right, it would have been really good. But like it was, I did not enjoy it. And y'all, like I said, I regret trying that mac and cheese. It looked appetizing, but no on the mac and cheese. So long story short, basically you're gonna get what you pay for here. They have a lot of hit or miss. I'm gonna be honest, from the way I used to remember, this place used to be so good, I really don't know what happened. I can definitely tell that it's not what it used to be. Like, as far as Chinese restaurants go, I wouldn't even put this probably in my top five. Like, if you go to the restaurants in like the Tupelo area, like this, they can't, they blow this out the water. So with that being said, I don't discourage anybody from going here. I Whoever runs New China, y'all need to fix this expeditiously because y'all are the only all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet in the city of Corinth. And the people of Corinth do not deserve to have to drive two or three cities over just to enjoy a decent Chinese experience. I know y'all can do better. Y'all really need to fix it. And to all the ones that have commented or DM me saying that y'all got food poisoning from here, I'm willing to bet $100 against the dime it's coming from that sushi bar because I took one bite of my sushi and my sushi piece that I had tasted it spoiled and rancid so with that being said i didn't even eat the rest of my sushi plate i basically took that one bite and it tasted like that and i just kept it pushing i'm giving y'all 4.5 if you get sick it's because of the sushi